and to Mrs. Reagan. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, all of us Americans in the embassy community are delighted that you came to visit us here. We're delighted to have a chance to meet you this morning. I want you to know that all of our people here are here because they want to be, to represent our country in the Soviet Union and to support the effort of your visit and we'll be staying here after you leave to see that what you have done is sustained here uh, in Moscow. This morning, we have some of our children who have come from our Anglo-American school. And they put on a production of Oliver recently. And they wanted to sing you a song from that production. And Mrs. Nancy Bednar will be accompanying on the piano. And Mrs. Linda Jaworski is leading them. Now it is my great honor to present to you the President of the United States. I think it is correct to say that it's Nancy and I who feel honored. And to hear this, this beautiful reception and this music here, to see all of you, I was thinking drawn this big a crowd in Hollywood, I'd still be there. <laughs> well, as we prepare to depart from Moscow, Nancy and I want to let you all know how important your efforts have been to what we've accomplished and tried to accomplish while we're here. On behalf of the entire group and our fellow citizens, we want to thank you for all that you've done done during this week and over the past months. 
We know that we've placed quite a burden on you. That has been a necessary burden, and we're truly grateful. And I know that you all have a little feeling of relief in saying, well, now they're gone. And <laughs> <laughs> George Schultz has often remarked on what a fine job you do here at our embassy. I've never doubted that, but there's nothing like being here to appreciate the kind of challenge you face every day. Winston Churchill, in his famous comment, described Russia as a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Of course, that was nearly 50 years ago. And today, it's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> and through your excellent reporting from here and from Leningrad, we were able to monitor those things that are changing, those that are not, and all the contradictions and ambiguities that lie in between. We're looking forward to expanding that reporting effort from our U.S. consulate in Kiev. What you've accomplished is no small achievement, even under the best of circumstances. This is a critically important post and also a difficult one. Truly, there are few things that can feel more alien to Americans than to live in a closed society. At the same time, you're the objects of intense scrutiny that require you, in turn, to adopt careful practices of secrecy. No, it's not an easy life, but I know it can be a fascinating and rewarding one. I'm impressed by your willingness, as Americans, to temporarily sacrifice so much of your personal freedom so that you can be here where you work for America and its larger goal of greater freedom for the whole world. Our embassy here, of course, is the formal representation of the United States in the Soviet Union. But it has been all of you and all that you've done that has truly made the embassy a piece of home away from home for us this week. I realize that you're regularly called upon to, for assistance by visiting members of Congress and other U.S. officials, and I know that they're grateful as well for all your help. The success of this summit, like the success of our overall policy toward the Soviet Union, has been due in no small part to your efforts. America is proud of its team here in Moscow. You deserve to be proud of yourselves and of one another. Your country salutes you for your service. And we just want to thank you and God bless you all. And also a thank you to an unexpected concert before we even saw, we knew that had to be Ray Brubeck and his quartet who were down here and have been entertaining. But I can't tell you how wonderful it's been and how comfortable you've made us in being here. We're off to London now, and then by tomorrow night it'll be Washington, and uh, we'll be back in the confusion. <laughs> Do you want to say something? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I want to thank you, too, for everything that you've done and are doing. And we really are very, very grateful to you. But especially, I want to thank the children for their song, which was wonderful, just wonderful. And Dave, you certainly make getting up easier. <laughs> Could we arrange it every day <laughs> so that we wake up <laughs> like that? <laughs> you're, you're just great. <laughs> Thank you very, very much.
Thank you very much.